Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. I know it's been quite a while since I uploaded a video, and it's so not like me. Sorry, there's a construction noise in the background, but I really don't have the patience to wait anymore to film this video. I'm sure y'all are quite aware about my obsession with ramen these days. So I thought, why not try Indian instant noodles? Since I literally haven't tried anything except for Maggi. Actually, no. Last year I did this video wherein I tried Maggi Fujian noodles, but that was about it. Other than that, I've literally not tried anything else, and I swear. I literally walk past those aisles because I know there's nothing that I'm gonna get except for Maggi. So like, why bother? Uh, but I've had it with Maggi for the past two months. Just like sick of it now. But yeah, I go through my phases with Maggi. With ramen, it's like. It's actually super super spicy and flavorful. So I thought, why not try some of the Indian noodles and see if it has the potential? I wanted to try out all of them actually and title this video testing out all the instant cup noodles. But unfortunately, I couldn't get all of them. I could only find two of the Maggi instant cup noodles. I think Maggi only has three. I believe there's two more from this brand. I couldn't find it, not even online. This is all I could get. I'm gonna see if it has the potential to match the ramen noodle. So yeah, I'm gonna be your food critique for the day. First up, I'm gonna try the Maggi Masala Cup Noodles. Usually, when you try cup noodles, the noodles are usually bland because you're not actually cooking them. So all the flavor and the good stuff is at the bottom. I mean, it's in the soup. Not gonna lie, it smells weird. It doesn't smell like Maggi Masala. There's like bits and pieces of some kind of herbs. I can literally see only two peas inside. And yeah, that's about it. It doesn't have a lot of veggies. I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. The soup exactly tastes like our usual Maggi soup. Of course, it's not as spicy, but for the flavor, it's really, really good. Not bad. I actually wouldn't mind having these again. I would give this seven out of ten. I'm gonna try Nissin Cup Noodles Veggie Mancha. They smell a little weird, but they have a lot of veggies, lots actually. There's like beans, carrots, capsicum. It's actually quite big also as compared to the Maggi ones. I, I think both of them cost about 50 bucks. This is got the spice. Noodles, not so good, but along with the soup, it's fine. Not as good as the first one, but because of the spice, you can actually tell the flavor. This one is actually spicy and it has a lot of veggies, so I would give it that. I mean, there's like chilies and all inside of it. For me personally, even if it tastes good and it doesn't smell as good, that kind of turns me off a little. I would give this 6 out of 10 because I did not like it as much. I'm gonna try chili chow kappa noodles. This one I'm not really sure about. It says chili kappa and there's like garlic and chilies on it so i'm guessing it might taste a little garlicky i mean it's red and it's good it's quite vibrant i just hope i don't drop this shit on my white bed sheet there's no veggies nothing there's only like flakes of chilies i think and the texture of the noodle is really smooth i'm gonna try this too it's sweet i kind of had a feeling that it would be sweet but the noodles are quite good actually. I mean, I really love the texture of it. I stained my sweatpack because I'm not happy about it. But it doesn't say sweet and sour. I wonder why it's sweet. But yeah, it is what it is. Also, my contacts are giving me such a hard time. Chicken. And it says it has spicy, chunky chicken. Which I don't seem to find anywhere. Of course, they've put like dehydrated chicken pieces inside of it. It's tiny little piece. I don't know if you can see it. Mm. They're clearly not lying. It's not bad actually. I'm gonna give them that. First impression, not bad. Smells also fine. The soup is actually quite similar to the masala maggi. I really like the chunky chicken though. The noodles are fine too, but the chicken definitely adds to it. With ramen, it's like even though it's like hot spicy chicken ramen, there's nothing chickeny about it. It's definitely not spicy but it has chunks of chicken inside of it. It's not spicy at all. This one is definitely more spicy as compared to this one. It's not spicy like it says on the packet. This one was the best out of all four of them. It definitely doesn't beat the taste of the spicy ramen noodles, but I like this one the best. I can't even compare this to 
Shin Ramen or the hot spicy ramen because the spice is on another level. I literally love Maggie so much. Maggie and ramen are like two different things. You cannot call Maggie ramen. It's not. The second one that I would go for is this one because it has a lot of veggies and this one is really really spicy. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have tried any other Indian instant cup noodles and if I should give it a try. Yeah, that was it for today's video you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Love you guys so so much and I will see you guys soon.